Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of the tutorials on how to upload files to Google Colab. Now, if you want to read more about the Google Colab and also know how to use it, I have a separate video that shows you how to do that. So I advise you to watch that if you are new um, to a Google Colab platform. So the link to that video is in the description box. Now, in terms of uploading files, uploading files comes in if the data set you want to analyze or read is not available on the Google platform. And there are several ways of uploading files. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the files model in Google Colab to upload your files. So let's begin. Now, I'm going to demonstrate using a data set from Kaggle, which is here. This is a page and I'll leave the link to this page in the description box so you can use that to also get the data. So I'm using the train data set, which is here, train.csv. So I'll click on it and then you have the name appearing here. So from here, we download using this button here. So that's on your right side. So you click on the download button and then you download it. So you save it on your PC anywhere should be fine provided you can locate it so i'll save mine on the desktop so that is done let me just check to make sure that it's there yeah so there's a file so i have it there now let's get back to the google collab environment so there's a google collab and please make sure you have a google account and you have signed in that is the requirement for running or for using google collab now you may have this page appearing this interface so just click outside and then you are in the google collab environment so let's open a new notebook first let's assume that you are going to use some codes and it is in those codes that you will read the file so let's create a new notebook here go to file new notebook and then let's open the notebook so here you already have one box here to enter the code so let's use that one so what we need to do is to first import the files model in google collab so i'll say from google.colab import files so that's the first thing that you have to do and then you run the code so let's run it let's just run this and then see how it goes so if it's successful you have a green check here so let's just wait yeah so that is done so let's create another code here using this and then here we see uploaded now we are going to use the files model we imported so we say uploaded equals files.upload and then you run it so if it's successful you have this box here where you have browse button and then the cancel upload button here you want to upload so you use the browse button so you click on it and then you select your file locate where it is and select mine is here i'll just click on the train.csv and i'll open and so uploading will start and when it is done you have 100 percent done written here you also have this here showing it's complete so now that is done so now that you have it available you can proceed and please know that with this approach we are using everything is temporary meaning if you reload the browser or if if you close and open a new session it's likely you may have lost this information so uh, that's by the way there are other ways to make it permanent but um, those ones we will do it in subsequent videos so let's continue now that you have the file uploaded let's create a new code here just to read the file okay just to test to ensure that everything is fine so if it's csv files then one of the libraries we can use is pandas so we are going to use pandas to just read a file and then test so we see import pandas as pd let's run this so
So it is done. So you have this green check here, meaning the command was successful. Now let's read the file. Now, whatever we are doing is in memory and we are dealing with a strange um, data. So we are going to use another model which we call the IO. That's input output. So the IO model allows you to manipulate strings and other um, data types and that are related to files. So perform basically so performing file related operations on input and output um, data. That's what this is about. So just click on code and then let's import that one to import IO. Let's run this. Now you have imported your IO uh, model. You have your pandas. So let's open a new line and now we are going to read. So here we see data frame equals p dot read csv. So when we come here, you are, you are expecting to just read the file name straight away, but I tried that and I got some error. And so the recommendation was to use the IO uh, model here. So that's what we are going to use because everything has been done in memory. And so we are using it to kind of manipulate strings and bytes data um, in memory. And that is why we go for the IO model. So we say IO.bytes, others use strings IO and others but and um, it should be fine. So we say IO.bytes IO like this and then it now indicates uploaded and then we indicate the file name. So here the file name was what train that CSV. So you close your square brackets and then your parentheses and all that and then you run your file. Now the file has been read successfully. So let's try another code here. So here, let's say data frame, the shape. And then you get our answer. Let's say data frame, the columns. I wonder if there are columns there. Let's check. Yeah, okay, there are columns. So I mean, this is how it is. So basically, once you've uploaded and you've read the file, um, with pandas and you have your data frame, the rest is just uh, for you to just use the Python codes to do the work. So that's how we do it using the files model. So I believe this has been helpful. And let me also get your comments and let's discuss and see how things go. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.